this is Stanley again. Today I'm going to review the book, Who is Hillary Clinton? This book was written by Heather Alexander. This book was illustrated by Dee Dee Putra. This book has 106 pages and 10 chapters, including the timeline of Hillary Clinton's life and the world. Hillary Clinton was born Hillary Diane Rodham on October 26, 1947 in Chicago, Illinois. My cousin was born there too. She had two younger siblings, Hugh Jr. and Tony. When Hillary was three years old, in 1950, Hillary and her family moved to Park Ridge, Illinois. And then a year later, in 1951, when she was four, a few kids bullied her. She came, she tried to come in the house with tears, but her mom wouldn't let her in. And she said, stand up for yourself, Hillary. And it worked. And she's still alive today and still continues to do that. When Hillary was a young child, she wanted to become an astronaut. So she always played with her little brother, Hugh Jr., with a box rocket ship. And then when, when she entered her teens, she sent a letter to NASA but then they sent this back. We won't be interested in women astronauts. And that made Hillary kind of mad. And if I were a child when Hillary was little, I would get mad too. When Hillary was 14, she had the opportunity to listen to one of Martin Luther King Jr.'s speeches. And then after the speech, she had the opportunity to shake his hand. And then she decided to fight for social justice. After Hillary finished school, she had to choose which school she needed to go. She had she wanted to study law. Which one should he, she should choose? The options were Harvard Law and Yale Law. When she went to Harvard, someone introduced her to a, a smart professor and then the professor sniffed and said, we don't need any more women. Hillary got so mad that she's like, hmm, I'm not going to study at Harvard at all. I'm going to go to Yale instead. When Hillary was in Yale Law School, something amazing happened. She met someone named Bill Clinton, and he would be one of the presidents and a young governor. And then... They, they've even hardly spoken. And then once, one day, Bill and Hillary were both studying in the library. Bill was watching her from across the room. And then Hillary couldn't take it anymore. But then she introduced herself to Bill. After Bill Clinton and Hillary finished law school, they, they moved back into different places. Hillary moved back to Washington to, to start practicing law. Bill went to, to Arkansas, his home state, and started teaching law at the University of Arkansas. Bill wanted Hillary to come to Arkansas, and then Hillary moved to Arkansas in 1974 because they loved each other too much. On October 11th, 1975, Bill Clinton and Hillary were married, and then she changed her name to Hillary Rodham Clinton, and then 1980, she gave birth to Chelsea Victoria Clinton. Chelsea is now a very famous writer, and she's written lots of books. I have read a couple of them, and one of them is Don't Let Them Disappear. I love that book so much. When Bill Clinton became governor of Arkansas in 1978, he became the youngest governor in the history of the U.S. and then he gone for three more terms in 1984, in 1986, and in 1990. Bill Clinton ran for president in 1993 and he won the election and Hillary Clinton became the first lady. Bill Clinton became president and then Chelsea moved with them into the White House and Hillary Clinton read lots of books about the other first ladies before her. And 
She liked Eleanor Roosevelt the most. Eleanor Roosevelt was involved in many causes, and Hillary decided to be like that too. In 2000, Hillary became Senator of New York, and she was the first female senator from New York. In 2001, something very terrible happened. Terrorists attacked and crashed airplanes into the Twin Towers of New York and killed a lot of people. And as Senator of New York, Hillary managed to help a lot of people, and she made the government pay billions of dollars for the cleanup and the health problems of the people who helped with the cleanup. In 2007, Hillary Clinton decided she was going to run for president and, and lost the primary election due to Barack Obama. And, and when Barack Obama became president, he asked Hillary Clinton to become Secretary of State. And the Secretary of State is one of the most powerful jobs in the United States. The Secretary of State advises the President on problems around the world. In 2015, Hillary Clinton decided to run for President again and, and the first woman in history to become the Democratic Party's candidate for President. But she lost due to President Donald Trump, our current President. From the age of four until now, Hillary Clinton stood up for herself, and that's what I'm going to do. All you children, go and read this book to learn about the true story of Hillary Clinton and to see what a one woman can do.